Okay, in this lecture, I am going to cover how do you extract rates information under the REST version 20 API wrapper. Uh, there is the earlier part, I already cover the installation, the documentation, and also how to um, uh, the, the actual API pricing itself. So let me just reset this so that you actually have uh, all the details clear. And um, let me just clear. Okay. So a couple of things that we need to do, import pandas as PD. That one's for um, presentation later. We need to import the ON the Pi version 20, the wrapper that we installed earlier. And we also need to import the um, API from ON the Pi version 20 and also import ON the Pi version 20 endpoints dot pricing as pricing. And finally import the config parser the purpose of the config parser is the same as um, version 1, is to protect your identity, your account information. Okay, that's gone through without any issue. So, a couple of things with regards to config parser that I mentioned in the past under the first lecture. Um, we need to actually um, instantiate it here by uh, storing it into config. And then from config, we read the config underscore version 20 init file that we actually set up earlier. Basically, that's where we actually store all of our information. When you actually download these files from uh, from my GitHub, um, you will actually have it all set up properly for you. Okay, and after that, we want to actually extract the account ID from the config under the heading of Oenda and store that into this uh, variable called Oenda ID and do likewise and store the API key into the access token. And finally, we want to instantiate the API so that we can actually start downloading the actual data itself. Okay, moving on to the parameters, we want to actually extract some um, instruments prices. So here we put in two, the Euro dollar as well as Euro yen, and we store that parameters in there. And when we actually run the pricing dot pricing dot in for which is actually this pricing here and the actual uh, API that we're going to use is called pricing info the account ID is equal to account ID parameters is equal to parameters I think at this point is actually pays to just go over to the documentation and also the API pricing just so that you can understand where and how to read the documentation itself so under pricing info you notice that the Oenda Pi version 20 dot endpoints dot pricing and dot pricing in four. This is relating to this portion here. Why is it that we only have a smaller or shorter portion, just the pricing in four? Because this pricing is really related to what we actually did earlier. Uh, we already import this on the Pi version 20 dot endpoints dot pricing and we name it as pricing rather than typing out this whole long sentence here. We just have one variable called pricing and that's shorten the actual whole portion here. So basically this whole portion we call it pricing. Okay, the next thing that it's required as a input parameters is account ID as well as parameters. You can put none in there, but uh, in this case, what we are looking at is that uh, we want to actually extract uh, in this example, Euro dollar as well as Euro yen. Okay, let me just run the uh, API request call. Uh, we already instantiate that uh, pricing into the R and we just run an API call and we will print it once it comes back. We'll just print it. Notice that the uh, data has come back. All right, so the reason that we import the pandas data frame earlier really is for this purpose so that we can actually put it in a perspective that is easier to read. Still a little bit messy, um, but it's okay. Uh, it's one that is uh, it's not gonna kill us. It's something that we can actually still read uh, fairly easily. Of course, it still require a bit of tidying up. There's the ask, there's the bits, that's the price, as well as the liquidity, uh, the close out ask and also bid the instrument and this is the dollar yen sorry this is the euro dollar this is the dollar uh, euro yen and um, it shows you that it is tradable and also the timing that this came back and uh, we can of course extract just the prices itself only meaning we just print that out 
and you can actually also see all the information uh, except that it is in the format that is a little bit different from that. You can go in and extract the individual value if you want to. Uh, you can actually do that and I've shown you that earlier before. So let's just come back here and just so that we can understand the documentation a little bit. Now remember the class, we import this portion here and we call it pricing. And uh, when we actually call the function itself, we call pricing.pricinginfo, we provided the account ID, we also provided the parameters. And how you actually, in terms of the example here, you need to import these three things as we did. We already provided the account ID and also the API key and the parameters we provided. So the procedure is this, you instantiate this and you run an API request and uh, with the R there and you actually print the R dot response for the actual data itself. And this is what the output looks like, exactly the same as what we actually did provide that earlier. So if you come back to the um, uh, REST API documentation, um, it looks like this. It's substantially harder to understand. Um, basically, the pricing is the same API key, except this is the documentation from the Oinda Pi, Oinda itself, rather than the Oinda uh, Pi V20. Uh, it is asking for the basic things such as account ID as well as the instruments. Okay, so these these are the two that's required. Okay, these are the two information that's required. Whereby the client ID we already submitted as we actually provide uh, in it. Okay, of course you can ask for uh, provide other information as well, but in this case uh, we've uh, basically extracted what we want to actually extract, which is the price of the bid ask. Okay, with that, uh, that ends the, uh, this class or this lesson on rates information. The next lesson is on account information. We will move on to that in the next video.